lovers, happy Valentine's night, and what better way to celebrate than to hang in the big city with our soulmates, Carrie, Samantha, Charlotte, and Miranda. We have missed you. This is Sex and the City Trivia, where the friendships are tight, the fashion is right, and the men are a sight. Whether Mr. Big or Mr. Too Big, this, of course, is a no scrunchy zone. Get rid of that. Take that burger. I'm Shari Bradshaw, your cuisinista and presenter at your phone's epicenter. And this, of course, is season two of HQ. Perfect for you if you're searching for love, commitment, or just a little fun. We are supersized and full of surprises. You just never know what can happen when we're live. It really could be anything. Last season, of course, millions of you earned billions of points of you in big cash. You've asked for more, so we're giving you more. For every point earned by players this season, the prize will get bigger and bigger until the season finale at the end of this month. Now, I couldn't help but wonder how that prize is looking right now. So let's find out. Oh my gosh, look at that. It now stands at $87,986. Wow. Who knows just how high it's going to go. It's going to be massive. Now you win points by answering questions correctly and sharing to social from the HQ app. Points help you reach levels. Leveling up gives you free passes. A free pass kicks you in the game even when you get the question wrong. The higher your level, the more free passes you have. Maybe you'll make it all the way to level 10. I do hope so. If you hit level 10, that means you'd only have to answer a few questions correctly to win HQ for the rest of the season and hold on to your Birkin bags unless you're on the wait list because this season we are giving away even more cash than we did the last time around. Now tonight you are playing for $5,000. That is a month's rent in the meatpacking district and a whole lot of points to help you boost your status and level up even faster in the game. Don't forget those extra lives, very important. They can also keep you in the game. You can buy one now if you see it on your screen, just tap. That's how you stay in the game if you get a question wrong. You can also earn one for free by playing five days in a row. Just one thing, you can't use it on the final round, of course. Okay, grab your besties and get ready to go on a quizzing spree. Let's do it, players. Here we go with Q1. What is the titular city of Sex and the City? New York City, Sin City, Emerald City. It was like a whole other character in the show. This city was. There were a lot of sins taking place in the show, but it wasn't set in Sin City. Home of the Cosmopolitan and HQ as well. It was New York City, baby. Of course, you knew that. 331,000 of you city slickers knew. NYC's depiction in Sex and the City led to a whole generation of people moving here to find love in a hopeless place. Now this Sunday, Wally and Buzz Lightyear are coming out to play. We've got Pixar trivia coming at ya. It's gonna be incredible. So is that 10 Gs that's up for grabs. Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern. Q2. What's the nickname of Carrie's on again, off again, love interest, Mr. Miniature, Mr. Big, Mr. Man? Oh, he put her through the ringer. Poor Carrie. There's a lot of crying over this guy. If he was Mr. Miniature, Carrie would have dumped him a long time ago. A little smarmy, but still the love of her life. Mr. Big, we're talking. Mr. Big was the love of her life. 323,000 of you doing big things here. Mr. Big put Carrie through six seasons and a movie of heartbreak till he finally declared that she is the one, for now at least. Whether you like it hot or not, you want to be watching HQ this Monday to find out just how much Scott can handle. It's going to get spicy up in here. Spicy questions, spicy hot wings. We are turning up the heat this Monday at 9 p.m. Eastern. You are not going to want to miss that, I promise. Q3, which shoe brand is Carrie known for wearing? Manolo Blahnik, Nike, Crocs. But Carrie loves her shoes even more than Big himself. Carrie wouldn't be seen dead in Crocs. They just wouldn't go with that tutu or, or this one either. Hello, lover. She loves her Manolos. With no true soulmate, I spent the afternoon with my shoe soulmate. 
Manolo Blahnik. Ooh, yeah, I love those Manolos as well. I've got quite a few pairs myself. Manolo Blahnik, of course, is the answer. 319,000 of you are striding forward. Shoes are Carrie's guilty pleasure, and her collection costs more than her home, which is why she lives in a shoebox. Q4. Before getting married, Charlotte worked in what industry? Law, medicine, arts. She worked pretty hard at this. And then gave it all up. Charlotte ditched her career after marrying her first husband, Trey, remember him, and his mother, Bunny, as a package deal. Her next hubby was in law, but single Charlotte had been in art. She was working in the art world, of course, 203,000 if you're painting a pretty picture. That was a brutal question, wasn't it? Lot of you gone. Charlotte was a gallerista before throwing in the towel to become a domestic goddess. Very good at it too. Q5. Which of these is not a line on the breakup post-it, I'm sorry, don't hate me, I'm out. It was very cruel, that breakup post-it. Should have used text instead, at least. Burger had to be the most spineless of Carrie's boyfriends. He couldn't handle her success, so broke up with her via post-it. At least he didn't say, I'm out. Who's in? 183,000 of you still in. The rest of you are out. Now here's the full message. Read it and weep, my friends. I'm sorry I can't. Don't hate me. We hate you, Burger. We hate you. Bam! Payback, baby. Take that. Q6. What type of drink does Samantha throw into Richard's face when he tries to win her back? Cosmopolitan, Sauvignon Blanc, Dirty Martini. Bit of a waste of a good drink, I'd say. But fun to watch. Samantha has not won for falling in love, but when she does, she falls hard. So when her cheating ex Richard tried to win her back, he got a face full of a dirty martini. How appropriate. And that was a toughie right there. We lost half of you there. 145,000 of you are still in the game sipping on that one. Sauvignon Blanc wouldn't do the job. And here's why. Dirty martini, dirty bastard. Shaken, not stirred, or maybe a bit of both. We're halfway already, players. Q7. What is Trey's response when Charlotte casually proposes? Alrighty, super, yes, dear. They all sound very Trey-ish, don't they? But what did he say? Well, Trey is the waspiest wasp who ever wasped, and he only had one response to pretty much everything. Maybe we should get married. Alrighty. All righty then. Hopefully you were all righty and not all wrongy. 139,000 of you were certainly all right. This marriage may not have lasted, but Charlotte's divorce was the best thing to ever happen. She got a luxury apartment and a new hubby out of the deal. So that was cool. Q8. What does Carrie shout at Aiden and Mr. Big to try to stop their big fight in the fourth season? You're gonna hurt him. You're being idiots. You're middle-aged. They all seem quite appropriate. Who even knew they had it in them? Three very fitting phrases, but it only took one to almost stop the fight. Telling it like it is, Carrie reminded the boys. Stop it! You're middle-aged! Yeah, too old for all of that nonsense. You're middle-aged dudes. Stop the fighting. 92,509 of you fighting through to the next round. It was a dog that finally stopped the fight, biting big on his butt. And suddenly he and Aiden were the best of buddies. Whatever works. Q9. Where does Carrie first meet Mr. Big? Meatpacking District Bar Street. The encounter that changed her life forever. For better or worse, well, Carrie does run into Big at a bar, but that wasn't their first encounter. As she clamoured to pick up her belongings, she came face to face with this dashing dude on the street. Number one, there you go. he's very handsome. Yeah, I remember that moment. He was pretty handsome, wasn't he, Chris North back then? He's still a good looking guy. 64,853 of you, pretty streetwise. Big helped her gather her stuff, including her multi pack of prophylactics. Very kind of him. 
Q10. Which one of these professionals explicitly turned Samantha down for a hookup? Yoga instructor, farmer, wrestling coach. Nobody says no to Samantha. Samantha always goes after what she wants and it takes a strong man to say no, plus the practice of tantric celibacy. It's her yoga instructor. He just said no. 53,000 of you are doing the downward dog right now. Samantha can barely control herself in class, so she grabs the next closest hottie to have her way with him. And that worked. Now, a reminder, HQ Words is coming up next, right after HQ Trivia. We have a special Valentine's Day themed show for you guys. So stick around and keep your phones close as always. We're here already. It's Q11. Which of these topics is Miranda angry about in the episode where she wears this outfit? I would be angry too. If I was wearing this monstrosity, what was she thinking? Is it Steve's attitude, housekeeper's judgment, always talking about men? What rubbed Miranda the wrong way on this occasion? Miranda's not known for her fashion sense on the show, and here's a prime example why. But it wasn't this wardrobe fail that made her mad. It was her friend's man talk. Always talking about men, and she was not happy about it. 38,000 of you speaking loud and clear here. Okay, it's time to talk that talk and walk the walk, because we are strutting into the final round with 38,000 players still in the game. You love your sex in the city, that's for sure. We've got 4,000 using their extra lives to get back in, and we've got $5,000 in the bag. Good luck to each and every one of you is Q12. Which word does Carrie use to describe love in her famous, I am someone who is looking for love speech, outrageous, consuming, authentic? What kind of love was Carrie looking for? Sure, a lifetime of Paris and Petrovsky sounded tempting, but the reality was far from perfect. Carrie realized he wasn't the man for her after all, because one thing was missing, real love. She wanted big, she wanted this kind of love. Ridiculous, inconvenient, consuming. Consuming love for the win. We have 24,620 winners, you smashed it. <laughs> Congratulations to our 24,620 winners tonight. You certainly know your stuff. You know your sex in the city. You carry your Charlotte, your Miranda, and your Samantha as well. When, well done to all of you. That's a huge amount of winners. 24,620 of you. Congrats to everybody. You are taking home 20 cents. How about that? We've got forever blue you're not blue anymore we've got b jones 14 we've got joe Brait, uh kasha 78 uh m noel 06 as well congrats to all of you for scoring all those points as well tonight that will help you level up so you can win big cash this season and remember we're giving away way more money than we did the last time around with loads of surprises on the way so keep your phones very close to you right in your hand i suggest well done my lovers you came you played you slayed in your manolos as well i'm sharon carpenter and here's where you can find me on the socials don't be shy stop by and say hello we're back tomorrow at 9 p.m eastern with some more fun games and cash so join us then here's to consuming love everyone may you find it or avoid it happy valentine's night bye Woo.